Uh, yeah, so um, on the American Truck Simulator uh, XP, XP glitch video that I did, I got a comment uh, asking how or no, why didn't the XP glitch work? It's because uh, I'm too lazy to uh, do another one, like do another job, because I did just one scan. I just, I did, did I just did the new scan and I did not do the uh, the next scan. Okay, so if you don't understand what that means, I will show you in this video. All right, this is an in depth this is an in depth video. Uh, all right, this is an in depth video on how to um, basically get like infinite XP. You can also do this for money works the same exact way the same thing okay so here's what you do you just alt tab or oh wait no sorry i'm just kidding you hit windows key m to minimize uh you go to cheat engine open it and then hit yes and then go to this uh computer icon with like the search thing click it find American Truck Simulator, wherever it might be. It's in the applications. Don't go to any of this other stuff. Uh, the applications window in the windows is just all the other applications that would be here, basically. Um, so yeah, all you do is pick it. Uh, you go back to American Truck Simulator. If the map pops out, pops up, just hit the X. And Gotta turn this down. Um, wow, I'm frickin' bot. Okay, um, so basically, all you do is see how much money you have right now. I have 100 XP. You, uh, the same thing to get out. Windows key M. You type it, you go to the value, okay? Type in however much XP you have. For me, I have 100, so I'm gonna type it in right there, okay? Uh, don't worry about any of this other stuff. You use that for basically other games. It's just compatibility with other games. That's how you make it worth with other games, but anyways, so you go to first scan. So you see all these things that popped up. Before I was too lazy to do another job, get more XP, you know the deal. Um, so basically go back to the American Truck Simulator, the map pops up, exit out. Uh, give me a second, let me put the audio. A little bit. There we go. And uh, basically take another job, go to the job market if you have a new uh, account. Go to the job market. A quick job. Uh, if you have a truck, just take a job. Go find a job somewhere. Um, and once you're on this menu, go to uh, oh, go to route length up, and then find uh, the closest one, basically. Like this is San Francisco to San Francisco. It's really easy. I'll just take it. So, load it in, and then basically, you just complete the job, um, yeah, uh, that's basically it. I'll do a time lapse of it, and three, two, one, time lapse. Oh, shit. I freaking hit the engine button, I'm an idiot. Alright, yeah, let's go. Now. Okay. Time lapse starts, three, two, one, go. That's a lot of damage. All right. How about a little more? Oh, geez, whoops. No, that's a lot of damage. Freaking idiot. I'm so bad at this game. Okay. Time lapse starting now. Uh, 
Sorry, didn't I go? Oh, God, I'm so stupid. Oh, God. Bro, move out of the way, bro. Try to get this job done. You don't understand, because you're a poor person. She goes, hate me. Ugh. Okay, so basically, once you get to the uh, green space thing, whatever that is, the floating thing, the hologram, go to it. Uh, as I am doing terribly, just go to it. Uh, you basic, basically, you, you can't hit the plus three XP. You have, you have, you have to do this. This is, this is to get all of it. It's to get all the XP. You got, you have to hit either the 15 or the 90. Okay. Cause you have to gain XP. Uh, but if you do like a longer job, I think you'll gain XP no matter what. But, uh, yeah, so basically what you do here on couple, or, yeah, to couple, excellent, that's me. Alright, so basically, you hit continue, or show results now, and then continue. And then, in the top right corner, where it says your XP, 120 for me, um, I look at it, take, take that number down, if it's a big number, I recommend putting that in, like, a notepad or sticky note or something like that. Sound down. Yeah, and uh, marking that down for me, it's 120. And minimize Windows key M. Then you go to uh 120. Oops, I'm an idiot. All right, and then once you put the value, the next value in, you hit new scan. Whatever that might be. For you, it's probably not going to be 120, but whatever it is, hit next scan, okay? And then there's probably going to be one, two, three, maybe four values here. Depends. Uh, but basically, you click on one, hit control A, or just select them all, however you're going to do that. And hit, you see this uh, little arrow thing? You hit it, click it, and you uh, click one of these, control A. Again, just like you did up here. Uh, right click, go to change record, value, okay? And then you can change this to literally whatever you want. Like that. It's gonna like go to another number for some reason. I don't know why it does this, but look, that's the value it has right now. My crasher game, but it's probably not going to for me. Cause I didn't understand. Yep, look, look at my XP, look at my level, see? So, yeah, that's basically how you uh, get infinite money and XP in American Truck Simulator with Cheat Engine. And you, you could also do this for any other game, preferably not online. It most likely will not work for online, but yeah, that's basically how you do it. So, yeah, subscribe. Sub Heels Comment below what else you would like to see. Happy Holidays. Bitch.